Hey guys, Victoria here with Take the Lead, and we've got little Chaka, and we're going to show you a little bit about crate training. So we've been introducing Chaka to his crate over the past few days since he's been here, um, and I wanted to kind of go into how we teach this guy to explore his crate, go in on his own, and wait to come out. Um, a lot of puppies have a hard time with crating. Um, initially, they've been with their litter up until eight weeks, and so all of a sudden, um, you're having to take them away from an environment they're familiar with and make them stay by themselves. So we've also got that little pink thing in there. That's um, that's a little puppy that's got a heartbeat to it, so it gives them somebody to cuddle with that's a little bit um, living, like when he had uh, his litter mates with him. But overall, the crate needs to become a positive place for our dog, and so we can use food to help encourage our dog to explore the crate um, and have positive associations with it. It's very common for puppies to complain and howl and, and get a little fussy um, once you kind of tuck them in. Um, but that said, let them kind of cry it out, let them decompress, and um, only let them out when they're being quiet. As you can see, we've got a blanket on top of the crate. Um, so I cover the crate when we are tucking him in so he can't see things. Um, that helps him settle a little bit more. So as you can see when I work with him, I toss the kibble into the back of the cage. I actually want him to hear the little clink of the, the kibble. It encourages him to kind of go back there and explore. Um, sometimes I'll toss one kibble, sometimes I'll toss a couple. Um, I like that he kind of roots around in there and is hunting. Maybe he even finds a kibble a little later once he's tucked in. Just helps with that positive experience of the cage. And then, um, you know, this is probably our fourth day working on this stuff, but we're also working on sitting before we come out. So that means um, I close the door, and once he sits, I'll open the door. I want to make sure that he waits for permission to come out. I don't want him to just come barreling out of the cage. Again, when you've got a puppy who's very anti-crate initially, um, they just want to get out. And so let's have them be patient. Let's create a little bit of patience, a little impulse control for them, because it's going to help them be a little bit less, um, you know, um, interested in barging out. It's going to hopefully get them checking in with you and a little bit in the right direction of positive associations with the kennel. As I said, we've been working on this for a couple days, so that means that um, initially I actually had to like have him follow my hand into the cage. So kind of like that food chasing we showed in uh, yesterday's video, um, I, we had to do that initially. But then after a couple times of those and tossing it into the back, he learned that he could go in on his own and follow the food on his own. So as you can see, he's standing. So what I'm waiting for is for him to SAT, and then I open the door. Initially, again, I didn't ask for the sit the first day or two. I just wanted a polite moment and wait for him to say, let's, for, for me to say, let's go and invite him out. But now this is like our, like I said, our fourth or so day of great work. So we're just asking for a little bit more politeness, um, which is going to help him just pause and, and check him with his person. So great stuff is just like any other, any other behavior. It needs to be repeated over and over. Don't just put him in the cage when you're leaving. Don't just put him in the cage um, when you need a break. Practice it like an obedience drill. Pattern going in on your own, coming out and uh, being patient at the door on your own. Pattern that a lot. Help your puppy explore the crate and have a good time there. And then of course, most naps need to happen in the kennel. We also feed some or part of our meals in the crate. We use the other part for training, but we will feed part of it in the kennel. And then at night, of course, when we're not home, our puppy goes in the crate too. So I'm waiting him out. There's that sit. The minute you sit, the door opens. So if anybody has any questions about crate stuff, feel free to post um, questions in the comments. But overall, it's just lots and lots and lots of repetition, helping this guy create positive thoughts about the kennel.